the ban of ball pythons was instituted, was was it a ban on all the animals that already existed? Or, or were the animals that were in collection supposed to be grandfathered in? Or was it an expectation that we were going to come pull animals? I think they were grandfathered in. But what, what it did was all the people with ball python breeding projects, what use are they? My, my, my theory was this list was so bizarre that either it was put together by someone who has no idea what they're doing, or it's by somebody who is is cunning enough to know that the species on this positive list would be virtually impossible for anybody to get and therefore by making a positive list they're essentially making a non-list at all and zoos often follow in our wake they use the information that comes out of private herpticulture it's astounding we often see um, headlines hey zoo bred this for the first time ever and then we look at each other and go hang on we were breeding those in the 90s yeah you know that's